Welcome back to the BCU Freshman Class Series, where we'll be teaching you the most important building blocks of ham radio. The Freshman Series is for those just getting into the hobby who might not know where to begin. In these videos, we cover broad topics in terms you can understand so you can start your ham radio journey on a stable foundation. So the first step is deciding you actually want to get your amateur radio license. It's really pretty easy, and if you put your mind to it, you'll have it in no time. So let's jump into a computer and go over the few things we need to take care of. So first, you want to get your FCC registration number, also known as your FRN number. Uh, so go to this link, we'll have it in, in the description or on the video here, uh, at the FCC, and then click on register. And then from here, I was gonna ask you some questions if you're an individual or a business, you know, if you're within the US, uh, in this case, we are inside the US and we are an individual, or I am, so I'm gonna click continue. I already have my number, so I'm not gonna go through with this process, uh, but you would just fill out all of your information here, and eventually they will give you an FRN number. Now, at that point, uh, we probably need to do some studying. So, a great resource for you on our website, bridgecomsystems.com, a great resource for a lot of things ham radio related, uh, but we actually give away a free guide. I think they're normally like almost $10, but uh, just come here and click, the, click here to get your free technician guide. Uh, we'll just give you a free PDF copy, uh, no cost to you, because we want you to be successful on ham radio. Uh, it's a great study guide. Now, there are some different practice tests out there as well. Uh, I know there's a few of them. Uh, we'll, we'll throw a link in the description for one. Uh, just make sure whatever practice test or guide you're using is up to date uh, with the current question pool. Um, so we recommend this. And then finally, once you're ready to actually take your test, uh, the ARRL is probably the best resource for finding that local test information. So on their website, uh, if you go to the licensing, education and training section, now this you know, may change throughout the future, uh, but currently this is how you find it. Then click on getting licensed and find an amateur radio license exam session. Uh, you could also find an online exam. I know they're actually starting to do some online exams too. So for those of you uh, who live out in, in far, you know, middle of the nowhere locations, that can be a great option. Or, you know, if you don't want to go out, uh, especially with some of the events that have happened recently, that's a great option for you as well. So just click on that. And then uh, if you want to find a local location, uh, you can literally put in as much information as you want or as little as you want, and it will filter down uh, local exam sessions. And quite a few places meet every month or so, uh, so you can just simply go take your test. For government registration, that wasn't too bad, right? No waiting in the mail required, and now you can move on with your day. So that's the process for getting your amateur radio license. Now, keep in mind, you are going to need a radio. Uh, so if you have your license or if you're still working on getting it, I'd highly recommend you check out the Anytone 878 UV2 Plus radio. Uh, it's a great radio. You can actually receive on it before you even have your license. Now, if you do already have your license, uh, definitely worthwhile looking at the plug and play package. Uh, this is going to save you a lot of time, money, and energy uh, with everything pre-done for you. So you're just getting into it and new to the hobby. It's a great way to jump in and have success right out of the gate. You'll be talking to people all around the world. So if you'd like to pick up your very own radio or plug and play package, click the link in the description and get one on order today. Uh, if you have any tips for any new ham radio operators just getting into the hobby and getting their license, post them in the comments. I know there's a lot of knowledge out there and let's help each other out. That being said, if you ever find yourself struggling with the topics covered here today, feel free to give us a call at our support line, 816-532-8451. Our in-house tech team is more than happy to help you on your ham radio journey, whether you're a beginner or just need a helping hand. Lastly, thanks for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG73.